Why people wonder shall never end. Vivian don't land herself in the hospital. But this uh, Vivian's condition, eh, it's taking my mind to different things. I was thinking, or I am thinking that maybe, maybe Stella might have a hand in what happens to Vivian. I mean, Vivian's mom. <laughs> Do you know why I said that? In the last episode, uh, Stella told uh, whoever it is to send the money that Vivian stole from her husband's family to send it to her own account without letting Vivian know that she is going to compensate that person very well. And we do know that any mother that is desperate and uh, who really prefer money to good character will do anything just to have the money. So maybe I am thinking that it could be possible <laughs> that Vivian told her mom that she is going to and Kizito to get the information from Kizito. And the mother decided to use the opportunity to buy Vivian so that the money will go to her. I don't know. That is what I'm thinking. Uh, it might be possible. It might not be possible, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> with Vivian's, with the kind of Vivian's mom, anything is possible. Then secondly, I am thinking that maybe before Vivian was able to attack Kizito and end him, that he might have fought back you know, maybe, you know, a man will always be a man. And unless you took that person on our ways, but if, even though you took a man, certain men on our ways, they will fight. Maybe Kizito fought with Vivian. And you know, as a girl who is always, who is also pregnant. I don't know. I'm just thinking. And my mind has been going through a whole lot. What could be the reason? What happened? This, that. Because initially I was thinking that she was faking it. But when Vivian, when Ben carried her to the hospital. That was when I know that it is serious. Because with Vivian, you cannot trust her. Then, the part that, that got me laughing was, Vivian, who is pretending to be unconscious, when Ben wanted to carry her up, she made sure that she collected her phone. <laughs> then, another question that I want to ask is this. Is, is that phone really her phone? Or could it be Nick's phone with Kizito? That's another question. Then, Mark, Ben is not smart at all. Sorry to say it, but you see Ben. Ben is not smart. If Ben is smart, the first thing he should have done at that time, knowing what they have been passing through with Vivian in the house, he should have grabbed Vivian's phone first. Then, at this point that Vivian is unconscious in the hospital, he will go through the phone and get some of the information. Then, know who she called before going out, because normally Vivian is not supposed to be out in that on, on the streets by that time of the night, you know. So she is out there for a mission, and I'm sure Ben is aware that whatever happens to Kizito might be coming from Vivian. That was why he was telling himself in the car that he is not going to let Vivian go scot free. That he must fight Vivian this time until at that point where he met Vivian unconscious on the uh, floor, on the streets, you know? So I was thinking that the first thing he should have done is to get Vivian's phone. Now that the mother is not around, then they will be able to check Vivian. So if possible, self, get hold of the phone to see who called Vivian, to see the last call that she made, to see some of her messages. Because I'm sure some of these uh, things that she's hiding will be in the phone. Maybe see her message with her call. I don't know. I'm just thinking that... See, I don't think Ben is smart enough to my liking in this series, seriously. But all the same, uh, one thing I do notice about Mark and her family, and his family... Sorry, not Mark. Ben and his family is that they are too good. They are over... Or short over good, they worry them. And that is why Vivian is doing all of this thing to them. Because if they are, if they are half of Vivian's uh, character... At least half. I'm not saying uh, the whole bad or uh, bad character of Vivian, but at least some at some point human being needs to adapt to the environment, the changing environment, so that they will be able to survive. If they are a little part of Vivian, I'm sure Vivian would, wouldn't have been messing up with them the way she is doing. You know. So, <laughs> and when they called Mark, when uh, Helen and Lisa, okay, Helen took the phone to Mark that uh, Ben have been calling you, Vivian is in the hospital. Did you hear what Mark said? Mark said that 
Vivian will buy in the hospital. As a matter of fact, Vivian will go to mortuary. <laughs> hey. At least I was shocked though when uh, uh, Ben told them that uh, he saw Vivian. Because they were all thinking that Vivian is in the house. Oh, Vivian. Vivian. Anyways, I think she's now meeting her Waterloo. Has, her time is up. Her time is up. And Helen is very, very smart. You know, Ben did not think it is wise to call Vivian's family. Maybe because she have signed all the documents for the doctors to take care of her Vivian and ensure that Vivian is okay. Maybe her ma his major reason is that so that Vivian will answer, have questions to answer. But then my question to Ben is this. What makes Ben think that if Vivian should rec uh, 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 recover, that she is ready to answer any stupid question? No, now Vivian is smarter than all of them. You see, in this game, Vivian is the master. As in, she is the master when it, can, when it has to do with being smart. Vivian can never agree to answer any question from Ben or anyone if she re uh, recover from this hit. But up till now, nobody can say what actually happens to Vivian. You know, I cannot uh, talk about it. Then let's forget about Vivian. Let's talk about Lisa and uh, Helen. When they were talking about, uh, okay, where is my brother? My brother, your brother went out. Why? Why didn't you tell me? And when Lisa told Helen uh, about going to uh, about Ben going to Kizito to get the evidence and all of that, Helen was worried. I'm sure had it been Ben told Helen about it, Helen would have tell him another way or maybe a smarter way to get that information without uh, Vivian knowing it. But it has happened, it has happened. Then, when Elisa noticed that uh, Helen's mood changed, she asked her, are you angry? Are you angry that your brother told me and did not tell you? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Is she going to continue like this? We heard that Bibia was once said to... Mm -hmm. Then, uh, Helen was like, no, now... You are soon, you are going to be his wife soon. So I'm not the then at some point Vivian uh, Helen was like, Lisa, please, I want you to do me a favor. Please don't change. Did you know why Helen told v Lisa, please don't change? And he she also made Lisa promise her that she's not going to change. Because from what we heard, uh, Vivian was as good as Lisa before they married her. The moment they married her, she now changed to her true color. But I don't think Lisa is that kind of a person. But you cannot tell. Who would believe that uh, Lisa, uh, Vivian would change the way she changed, according to what we heard? Anyway, guys, I don't know what you think. But all I can see is that Helen is so, a bit uh, afraid that Lisa might change. But Lisa has promised her that she will not change. I just pray that she will not change. Tell me what you think about this episode on the comment section. We still have a lot to talk about, but let's not uh, prolong this video. Thanks for watching. Follow my page, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and tell me what you think about it on the comment section. I love you for always being here. Thank you, my God, who bless you.